But we're moving on now to Princess Cruises, a cruise line very close to my heart. And the Ruby Princess, my best friend, actually took this ship out when it first came out. Let's have a little look at where we're going. This is another, oh my goodness, I've got to do this cruise. Because this is amazing, isn't it? Las yeah. Vegas is involved well, in we this. Well, we all said this when we saw the actual itinerary. It is a bucket list Apps, that you've yes. got to do. You've just got to tick this off. If it's a big occasion, big birthday, if it's perhaps a honeymoon, whatever, it, if you celebrated a big anniversary, you've got to go there. Luxor, Las Vegas, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Vegas, baby. <laughs> you've got to hit the casinos. Just go careful because you'll walk in there and you just lose the sense of time. It's one place that I've always wanted to go to. Oh, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some great excursions as well out there. Great places like the Hoover Dam. Um, uh, and of course some great helicopter rides as well so just check with the guys if there's any tours available on that one you got two days to spend in Vegas and well all I'll say is make sure your batteries in your camera are charged up because you're gonna be snapping away um, some fantastic places like the Bellagio as well the water fountain uh, and the water show if you get to catch that at night um, oh, then you're gonna be gosh. going from Vegas now wait this is like a rock stars itinerary this is from Vegas to LA um, so it's just we've got an incredible cruise but we've also got a fabulous ship as well because we're on yes. princess now princess is a, a brand that i really know because my partner worked with for them for years they are beautiful ships and I'm right in thinking the Ruby is a grand class as well, yes. isn't she? Yes, it's a real signature ship with the, uh, the sort of the shopping handle at the back. Just absolutely lovely. Um, now, one of the great things about Princess is the choice of dining, anytime dining. It's just mm. slightly more relaxed and less formal. Um, so, you know, you've been out in Vegas, then you're on the ship. Enjoy it. There's some really great little Italian pizzerias on board yes. as well um, and loads of deck space. That's one of the benefits of having a larger ship is you know there's plenty of space that's the wonderful thing there is plenty of space the the the, the actual people on board are incredible mm. as well beautiful people and the wonderful thing is we've got a little clip of actual film and this is going to again take you on board a princess ship so you can see how fabulous it's going to be princess cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to mexico today the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ships outside cabins as well as 24-hour dining and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness centre, you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. But if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here, to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows with some of the largest casts at sea. Tonight we've got a 70s theme with Blame It On The Boogie. All the shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, featuring one of the largest casts at sea, as well as shows you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships and it's a great way to end the day. My goodness, first time we've seen this with the Las Vegas stay and then getting on board the ship which is just beautiful but let's see where we're going on board because this is going to be this is somewhere I really want to go or some places that I'd really like to go to because we're going to the Hawaiian Islands which is 
fabulous. And the thing is, there, there's so much that if you were just calling in there for one day, there'd just be too much to do. You have got, I think it's four days, yeah, four days that you're going to be in here Wonderful. to experience a fantastic island, an amazing culture. Um, and some great history as well. I mean, needless to say, as you can see, the water sports are fantastic. Great whale watching. I'll be talking about that a little bit later on uh, when we come to the final day um, in Maui in uh, Hawaii. But of course, the first day you're in Hilo, and this is just the paradise of black sand beaches. Of course, you've got a lot of volcanic activity around there and some of the most active volcanoes um, in the world. It's the highest mountain in, um, uh, in that particular region as well. It's nearly 14,000 feet above sea level. Yeah. Now you've got the Volcanoes National Park, um, you've got the Tropical Bota uh, Botanical Gardens as well, um, and it really is. It's almost, if you imagine like going to somewhere like Jurassic Park, you've got all that botanical yes. history, millions of years, that's what's sort of captured in Hawaii. You can see there, there the um, uh, wonderful volcanoes, um, and you've got to go to Wapio Valley as well, which is just a lush green valley, um, once uh, a meeting place for the Hawaiian kings. Um, then we're going to be moving on to Honolulu. Now, you know, this is again a classic port. Um, you can't go here without going to Pearl Harbor and, of course, visiting uh, the USS Arizona Memorial as well. It's one of the top tourist destinations um, in Hawaii, uh, of course, because of its history. Uh, you've got the Pali Lookout as well, um, a real favorite stop. Um, and then, of course, the Diamond Head Crater. Um, this is this actually, the name comes back from the 1800s when the British sailors actually sailed in. Um, the, the wonderful sort of minerals that were in the crater looked like diamond shining, hence the name, oh, right. Diamond Head Crater. Um, then we're off um, from Honolulu to uh, Kauai. Now, this is um, got to be outdoor activity central. Zip lining above a tropical forest canopy. You've got to do this. Hiking oh. through the jungle, uh, white water rafting as well. Um, you've got the Fern Grotto there, um, and uh, a two-mile journey on the famous river uh, leads you to that grotto. And look at that waterfall. That looks amazing, doesn't it? The colours and the waterfall's incredible. Yeah, it, just, it just looks like a shampoo advert, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, actually, absolutely. But all these Your classic locations. There. Now, where are we moving to next? Uh, we're going to Maui. Um, and this, again, I said to you about um, looking for the, uh, the local wildlife. Um, this is one of the best places, not guaranteed, uh, one of the best places for whale watching as well. This really? is uh, humpback whale um, uh, country. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word. If you're lucky enough to catch Gosh. that, then um, it's never guaranteed, but it's definitely worth uh, the day out there. Um, then you go in from Hawaii, you've got some great relaxing days at sea across to Mexico. Uh, and this is just, I love the way, you know, you've, you've got Las Vegas, what, America Express, it. Los Angeles, mixture. rock and roll. Then you've got Hawaii, completely different culture, and then Mexico. It's just like, you look at the beaches there, the way of life as well. Ah, manana, just leave it. Oh, I love um, Mexico. This is one of the best places as well to pick up some trinkets to bring back. Yes. Um, because if you've got space in your, in your suitcase, some of the, uh, the best markets... Um, so all the, you know, the real stereotypes of Mexican drinks that you can bring back, that's the place to bring it back from. Silver jewellery, woven blankets, you, you've got to do that. And then we're um, going back to Los Angeles. Yeah, come back to Los Angeles and then fly back to uh, Heathrow. But if you wanted to stay in Los Angeles for a few days, of course, speak to them on the phones. They will get that booked up for you as well. This is what's included. It is an exclusive, brand new package you have got so much there 19 nights and really does work out an incredible deal have a look at the prices you've got some great dates as well something for you to look forward to i know you are going to absolutely adore that cruise all you need is the id number and that is 97711 so book that one because i think that is going to be again one of those once in a lifetime cruises and so many different, like you say, places that you're seeing. Starting in Las Vegas is just incredible. I love it. <laughs>